Good morning. I've just flown um, 13 hours from Singapore to Helsinki and I'm going to be spending the weekend here with some old friends. I first met nine years ago when we were both um, traveling to an island in Malaysia. Oh, I'm looking forward to my first time ever um, getting outside of Helsinki airport. So checking out the um, nature. I'm so tired right now. <laughs> but thank God I had a lot of good sleep. So um, it's six in the morning now. We were supposed to arrive about 30 minutes ago. We've just landed. Long delays at the Singapore airport for, due to heavy traffic. So I'm looking forward to getting my bags and <laughs> meeting my friend Oli. A very big airport but I have to walk really really far away to find the exit <laughs> oh when you've been traveling for 13 hours through the night <laughs> I just feel so sleepy and so tired and a bit out of breath oh but my poor friend has woken up I think maybe three four in the morning to drive about two hours from he lives in a place I think called Limpala all the way to Helsinki so I shouldn't feel too sorry for myself We've been driving for about two hours now from 6.30 to about 8.30 now Oops. and we're almost at uh, the Kitokari's house a few hundred meters away yeah. and um, <laughs> I don't know what they can see us We've been talking about everything, Finnish, education, vodka, <laughs> politics, weather, whether we should move to Finland because it's the best country in the world, it's the least crime, um, it's just the lack of sun, and then too much in summer in the north and too little in the south, but yeah, so there we go. Oh wow, it's so beautiful. It's, um, the snow was from about a week ago, right? Yeah. Unfortunately, there's no snow to greet me. I'm so sad. <laughs> there we go. We're almost there. For this year, when you got a girl from Singapore, she's always fascinated by snow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So I'm now in the Kitokari's family dinner or family home in the kitchen. Oli and Miria and their breakfast. So I'm about to have something very, very traditional Finnish, apparently. What is this called again? Karelian pie. Karelian pie. Karjalan piirakka. Say it again. Karjalan piirakka. <laughs> I love the Finnish language. <laughs> um, and what is it made of? I smell I smell cinnamon. No, no, no. it's is... um, rice porridge in the middle. Ah, so okay. that's rice, and this is made of rye. Rye? Mm. And then you eat it with... This one, which is margarine and eggs and salt. Okay, so kind of like, like in England, you normally put your um, egg, it's like egg salad, they call it, and you put salad cream mm -hmm. and then salt and pepper. Something like that. Yes. And then um, Finnish cheese. <laughs> I'm looking forward to trying it because I love my cheese. Mm -hmm. Is it smelly? What's the, what's the cheese like in um, in Finland? Is it strong? Kind of mild. Finnish, Finnish all, all, most of the foods in Finland are, are, are mild unless you add something. something. So you, you don't do smelly cheese? Uh, no. Well, we do actually, but they're not Finnish. Oh, uh, okay. So they're imported yeah. Swedish or... Yeah. There is a big variety, so you can get whatever, even your smelly cheese. <laughs> yeah, I want not, only Finnish. Want Finnish. Finnish. I want authentic Finnish stuff. These are both very traditional Finnish cheeses. This is um, the stronger one and this is very mild. Okay. And yeah. they're both very mild. Yes. <laughs> and we, we love our sausage. So whenever there's breakfast, there's always sausage. There's always um, salamis or whatever. And, yeah. and what is the normal uh, meat normally? Do you only use pork or do you also have like deer or... No deer sausage, that's very kind of rare thing. Yeah. Pork, 
beef, chicken, turkey. Oh, okay. So you don't use uh, like reindeer or deer? It's, it's a delicacy. It's not oh, really? Yeah. I'm disappointed. <laughs> I was just selling only I want to have deer meat. No, but, but I want to bring home to London deer meat. She was meat. also saying that uh, they have they have reindeer meat in Denmark. And I almost stopped the car. <laughs> 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 deer salami, deer salami, deer salami. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go and have my breakfast now and I'll continue uh, later. Um, no, no, have, it, have, have, it, have it straight go, from the box. Go okay. Mat more, okay. which means peace cake. And it's filled with peanuts and there's sugar. Mm. Is it yummy? I don't know. It is the yummy. person who made it, but it's yummy. <laughs> so I don't know. My mom makes the best. So um, it is quite sweet, but not too sweet. Not all the sweet. It's the sugar on the outside that's made it sweet. So mm. when you eat this, you can't talk. <laughs> That's why it's called a peace cake. So don't say how is it or anything like that. <laughs> it's very nice. Is there peanut butter in there? It's um, it's a ground peanuts. It's been grounded, so you get all the oil coming out. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Good. Hmm. Yay. We're ready to go out of the house to go walking. My nature, <laughs> my finish day. I've got everything borrowed: hat, gloves, um, another fleece inside, all from Artu, who is thirteen and he's a little bit taller than me. <laughs> and I'm wearing Miria's um. Uh, Uniqlo jacket and it's very nice and warm so uh, unlike in England people here do care about keeping really really warm <laughs> and um, they do dress up proper 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 warm here so where do I sit where do I sit come oh, okay come machine. to the front right so we're gonna drive somewhere and then we're gonna do more walking So this is where the Finns swim <laughs> after the sauna in there. There's already a bit of ice there as well as you can see. Ah, yes. So those are ice. It's ice it looks water. like sludge. <laughs> it's but it's not. Yeah, wow. So it's about five degrees right now. So it's melting. It's melting? Yeah, because it's so warm. Plus five is too warm for you. <laughs> okay, okay. Plus five for me is like, oh, it's nice, it's winter. <laughs> when you stay in London, plus five is winter. But in, in here, you normally have, you have uh, two that uh, brings up air under, under, uh, under the water. And that keeps the ice open so you can go swimming. Oh, I see. Because it keeps bubbling up the air all the time. Oh, like to keep yeah. the water but now, moving. Because it's so warm, it's not, uh, of course, on. Yeah. Mm. Oh my god, this is ice. Ah, it looks like bubbles. That's, that's not ice. That's ice. That's just water. But why is it like little white? It's, uh, it's probably wood oil, I'd say. Ah, okay. Wow. Howling wind. Jesus. And you don't go to sauna, you come here, you take off your clothes, you just go in, swim, come back, casually dry yourself, put your clothes on and back go to the office. A lot of people do that. I don't, but a lot of people do that. Wow. Too for me too. Wow. So they don't get chilly in the car or? No, but the thing is, once you come out, once you come out, it's, uh, it's really warm because your um, top circulation is so fast yeah, that yeah, it yeah. heats you up. I would be just be shivering and well, I can't wouldn't. move anything. <laughs> you wouldn't when you come out. You ah. would while you go in, you would be yeah. cold while you're there, but you wouldn't when you come out. Oh my god. For a few minutes. Oh shit, I forgot. Yes, icy again. <laughs> oh, it's really icy and I'm not wearing the right shoes. Okay. Wow, this is so beautiful. You are very lucky to be living in this country, really. We are walking what is normally a ski run area. <laughs> oh, I need to be have a foot. <laughs> right. <laughs> there's, there's the basket. Ah, so frisbee they do basket. frisbee golf here. So um, apparently global warming is real in this part of the world because many years ago and this time of the year, which is early November, this would all be filled and covered in snow, right? Yep. 
and last year too the snow was quite bad yep no. That's the other way. That's the wow. snow, snow under. Oh, so, so under the, the sawdust has been, and now it's covered again with snow. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Oops. Keep holding. <laughs> Just... oh. So, um, if you don't know what happened, I almost just fainted from too much oxygen. <laughs> I was feeling so, so faint. I was, my nose is so clear. Oh, it's such fresh air, it's rid ridiculously clean here compared to London. Oh, wow. So this is all just walking path in the yeah. summer. And now we should be having snow, <laughs> uh, skis, we should be having skis now, normally. Oh! oh. <laughs> A mini snowman, Olaf. <laughs> oh. Wow, this is called a nava. I don't know if you can see this. Oops. So what is it again? It's moss, right? No, it's nava. I don't. I don't know what that is in English. It's only in the places where the uh, air is clean. Where the air is clean, you get one second. Come here. Look. So. <laughs> Oops. Oh, no. oh. It's okay. So, wow, they look like green Santa's beard. Yep. Oh, wow. So it's called sometimes in a tree beard. Oh, and is this the one that reindeers like to eat? Uh, no, that's on the ground. Oh, okay. Same color though. So this is not moss, it's not lichen. I think it probably is, but wow, I don't really know the English word for it. But it's Nava in Finnish. Okay. So, and this means that the air is super mm. clean. Well, I mean, if the air is clean, I don't know what makes it super oh, clean. Oh wow, that's, that's, there's a lot of them. Yeah, well, they, it tends wow. to come to other places when the air is clean. Okay, now you know why I was almost fainting. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's, beards. it's called beard moss, apparently. So, wow. Okay, this city girl is well impressed. <laughs> Wow. Oh, the sun would be from see, Singapore. That's, that's where we wanted to take it. Yeah. Down that path. That would be oh, nice. Okay. But then you would actually be in the, in the forest. forest. Yeah, yeah it, at, well, it's oh. still in a park, but it looks like a forest. <laughs> wow. That's Actual nice. forest is where there is no uh, escape. Because we are, have on. such a bad weather that... Uh, <laughs> mushrooms! So is this edible mushroom too? Yeah, but it's just... Don't put those fingers in your mouth then. <laughs> I don't know what mushrooms are. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of mushroom. Mushroom, 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 <gasps> mushroom, 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 mushroom. Oh my so, goodness. <laughs> so I cannot pick them then? But you can pick them, just don't eat them before you know what it is. Yeah. You can take them as much as you want. But uh, since we don't... Wow. I, don't, I don't have enough skill to identify that particular type of mushroom. I think this is Girol, no? Isn't that Girol? What is a Girol? It looks like Girol. Um, or Cant no, Cantarel. No, no, no. No, no. so it's like that's Girol. Not, I know two mushrooms and that's not... <laughs> that's not one of them. Yeah. Palace for the family that ran all these uh, industrial complexes in, in, in here. About 100 years ago? No. Oh, okay. But this was just selected the best museum in Finland. This, this one, one here, yep. really? Vapriki. Yep. So at the moment they're having the 100 year celebration, yeah? Birkala, 1017. I've actually, come, I've actually come here once a week to, to eat. So I'm here now at this um, museum to check out my fascination with the Viking history and how they have actually they came to this part of Finland um, in 10 when the year 1017. So let's continue. It's a really cool exhibition. Wow. The clothing of Vikings from a thousand years ago. Look at 
Okay. I've seen all this in Denmark, but it's nice to see it again here. Look at all the pieces from 1017. That's a weighing scale right there. And that's a coin from King Knut in Denmark. So every king had their own coins made. And that was from a German king, the one next to it. Wow. So that's peers, isn't it? Or knives? Oh, it's a, a, a um, what do you call it? Spear. Javelin. Oh. Spear, yeah, exactly. So, um, a recreation of the Vikings doing the trade. Wow. Please try the clothes on. Viking Age weapons. <laughs> there you go. You can put on the um, look. There's also the um, the big what do you call this daggers or sword swords. That's it, daggers. Wow. Is it heavy? Yeah. And it's supposed to be real. This is real. Interesting. Viking house found here locally. It's always very dark. There's no window. The only light is from the fire of the stove. So a lot of people spend time outdoors. Yeah. And they keep their livestock in the same place. And always a lot of animal fur to keep warm on the bed. This is definitely from IKEA. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Table to do arts and craft yarns. Drinking cup. We've done our um, museum, our Viking thing. I've been invited to have a very world famous. It is in um, Lonely Planet. What are these? Donuts? No. No, they're not donuts. Monkey. 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 So it's supposedly like a donut, but it's not donut. So you have to try this one. You're in Tampere. But not in Helsinki. No, Only in Tampere. The third biggest city in Finland. Well done. <laughs> no, wait. This is what the monkey looks like. It's called. Is it Kadamu? Yeah, cardamom. Cardamom. So it's really, really tasty. You taste the, you taste the um, spice inside, and it's really soft. So it is like donut, but it's not donut. Remember that. <laughs> teaching my friends how to make my special ginger beef today and I'm just so interested in looking at all this fish dish oh my god I'm about to have my first very very authentic Finnish sauna experience let me show you. Um, this is my host family's um, built-in. <laughs> Apparently every Finnish home has a sauna. So let me show you. There you go. <laughs> and of course you're supposed to do it completely buck naked. 
and my host family has offered to just leave me into <laughs> it myself without having to share with me. And then when I'm done, I leave this room and I actually go outside in the dark, in the snow, and sit to cool down. <laughs> At the moment, it sounds terribly cold, but apparently once I'm in the sauna, it's about 65, 70 degrees. I would want to sit in the cold, so let's see. We're going shopping today on a Sunday. I'm buying things for my husband. And oh, a very sweet Finnish thing, which I've been pronouncing wrongly, apparently. So this is what I used to call phaser, and it's pronounced... Fatser. Fatser. <laughs> fatter. You eat this, you get fatter. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm in instructed to buy more of these lovely Finnish um, chocolate and reindeer meat, hopefully, hopefully reindeer meat and some uh, maybe deer salamis or something like that, something Finnish. So here we are in a local supermarket. So the bebe is, what is it made of? It's not uh, caramel? Yes. Oh, which one do I choose? Um, I've bought way too much reindeer meat. <laughs> They're not very cheap, aren't they? They're quite expensive. Well, we're not in Lapland, are we? Uh -huh. it's a, it's a so I was told to go to Lapland to get my meat. So we're going next year. Yeah, yeah, next year. <laughs> So I bought my husband lots of uh, Finnish chocolate and reindeer meat. So I'm done. <laughs> I'm out shopped. My, my luggage is full now. <laughs> I'm ready to go home. So I'm now at Helsinki Airport, ready to board my flight back to London. This is the end of my almost three weeks away from my children and my husband, at the end of my adventure in Asia, and a lovely weekend uh, learning all about Finnish language, Swami, and learning about um, uh, Finnish food and culture. So till my next travel vlog, I will see you again. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe and I'll be adding more reviews for the next few videos. See you soon.